Imagine you're floating through deep space when you come across a neutron star, one of the most extreme objects in the universe. It looks small, maybe about the size of a city, but don't let that fool you. This tiny star is more deadly than anything you've ever encountered. But what if, against all logic, you tried to touch it? Would you vaporize, get stretched into atoms, or something even stranger? Let's find out. Before we dive into this terrifying scenario, let's understand what a neutron star really is. Neutron stars are born when massive stars, way bigger than our sun, reach the end of their lives and explode in a supernova. What's left behind is an ultra-dense core that collapses under its own gravity, squeezing a mass greater than the sun into a sphere just 20 kilometers, 12 miles wide. To put that into perspective, that's like packing the entire human population into a sugar cube, except way, way denser. Let's say you're suicidally brave and decide to approach a neutron star. From 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles away, you're already in trouble. The neutron star's gravity is 2 billion times stronger than Earth's. If you're not in an indestructible spaceship, you're already being pulled toward it at terrifying speeds. At 100 kilometers, 60 miles, the intense radiation from the star starts to fry you. Neutron stars emit deadly X-rays and gamma rays, enough to melt metal and rip apart DNA. Even your ship's strongest shielding wouldn't last long. At 10 kilometers, 6 miles, if you're somehow still alive, the gravitational pull is now so extreme that it's stretching your body into a spaghetti-like shape. Scientists call this spaghettification, and trust me, it's as painful as it sounds. Let's assume that through some impossible sci-fi technology, you survive the radiation and somehow manage to touch the surface of a neutron star. What happens next? You instantly vaporize. The surface temperature of a neutron star is about 1 million degrees Celsius, hotter than any star's surface. Even atoms wouldn't survive this. You get crushed into atomic goo. The gravity here is so intense that if you dropped a sugar cube onto the surface, it would hit with the force of a nuclear bomb. Your body, it wouldn't just be flattened, it would be compressed to subatomic particles. Let's say you have a magical, indestructible suit that lets you survive touching the neutron star. What would you actually feel? Your atoms would collapse. The immense pressure would squeeze your molecules together, crushing the empty space inside atoms. You'd become a tiny, super-dense ball, like a piece of neutron star yourself. The magnetic field would rip you apart. Neutron stars have the strongest magnetic fields in the universe, up to a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. This would disrupt your brain signals, erase your memory, and tear apart your molecular structure. If you think neutron stars are terrifying, Wait until you meet a magnetar, a type of neutron star with a magnetic field so strong it could erase your credit card from 100,000 kilometers away. If you got anywhere near a magnetar, the intense magnetic forces would rip apart every molecule in your body before you even got close. Final verdict. Can you touch a neutron star? Short answer? No way. Neutron stars are the most extreme objects in the universe, hotter, denser, and deadlier than anything you can imagine. Trying to touch one would be the last thing you ever do. But this isn't the only place in the universe with mind-blowing extremes. There are planets out there with conditions so bizarre, they defy everything we thought was possible. Some are hotter than stars, some are made of pure diamond, and others? They drift through space in total darkness. We'll explore those next. Stay tuned. For more mind-blowing space videos, subscribe to Knowledge Hub.